Nityanam guys, welcome back. Today I'm starting another series. Yes, I'm on a starting series spree. <laughs> um, I decided, you know, I'll make a... Um, I'll make a playlist that is talking about uh, the clicks I get in the satsangs that Swamji releases. So, you know, when Swamji, last night Swamji gave a satsang, I had um, I had a few clicks regarding that, so I wanted to share that. So I'll put that in a different list as well. Um, yeah, it'll be, I'm not sure what is the name of the playlist yet, but it's gonna be great. So with this, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. One thing also I added, you can check the description below. Um, I decided that um, abusive comments will be removed. If you have a, a comment which is appreciating the content, if you have a sincere question or something you want to point out or any anything, these comments will be highly welcomed and I would encourage you to put them below and subscribe and like the video as well <laughs> to help the channel grow. But um, but all the comments which are abusive, especially directly towards my guru or towards me, these comments are not uh, not welcome at all. I mean, uh, if there is a question, then present your comment in the question form. No need to throw any form of emotional garbage um, towards uh, me or my guru. So uh, that will be from now onwards. So then, yeah, you can check the description below. I wrote it down. So that's my new disclaimer. So don't cry if your comment is removed, if it is not appropriate. So uh, yes, so that being said, yesterday Swamiji gave an amazing satsang discourse. Uh, that will have to get cut. <laughs> uh, okay, great. Um, so Swamiji revealed the feminine di uh, dimension, no, the feminine version of Advaita. The masculine version, he said, is the me which reside in me is talking to the me which resides in me. <laughs> Something like that. So it was me, me, me oriented and that is the masculine version. Yesterday he revealed the feminine version which is the you which is sitting inside of you, uh, manifests you inside of me. As the, I'm like, so anyways, it goes like this. And I wanted to share my understanding of what it is. Um, this, so this is the understanding I have of this uh, nuclear bomb that Swamiji revealed last night on the uh, Navaratri celebration. And when you identify yourself to a seeker, if you are seeking the cosmic you, the ultimate you, the cosmic identity which is yours, the seeker that strongly strives and seek towards, seeks towards the ultimate him, the ultimate you, when you seek the ultimate you, you will manifest Guru in Guru. For example, I am manifesting Guru in Swamiji. Because the seeking that I have towards the cosmic me is there, I am, I am manifesting the Guru dimension in Swamiji, in my life. That Guru dimension is the embodiment of the cosmic me. So by relating to Guru, by engaging in the Guru-Disciple relationship, I am engaging with the Cosmic Me until my seeking is quenched. Or at least until the seeking of my Cosmic Me is quenched. And that is the perfect Advaita, the Shuddha Advaitam, the oneness, pure oneness with the Master. Because at that point the Master is you. See, the Master becomes the embodiment of the ultimate you when you seek for the ultimate you. As long as the seeking for the ultimate you is there, you will see the ultimate you in the master. When the seeking is quenched, when you realize your ultimate you, well, I don't know exactly know how, what kind of cognition you have, but it's gonna be definitely, it's gonna be oneness. And, um, and I also feel it is also related to what they say in the scriptures as in the Isha Vasha Upanishad, Upanishad, I think it's in the 17th verse. And um, it is declared that the truth of Sohamasmi, even when I worship you, I know that I am you. So that, that's my understanding as of right now of this feminine uh, version of Advaita. What is the feminine uh, dimension of Advaita or the feminine 
yeah, I don't know what is the right word to use. But yeah, that feminine version of Advaita. So it is all about you seeking the cosmic you. Your cosmic you gets projected and awakened in the master. By engaging with the master, you engage with the cosmic you until you fully realize the cosmic you. Also in the, in the Guru Gita right now, Swamiji is asking us to uh, go through the Guru Gita and I saw um, some of the verses where they say that Guru knows who you are. He knows you are eternal bliss. He knows you are all pervasive. He knows you are all powerful. He knows you are all the qualities. He knows that you are super consciousness. By engaging with Guru, you engage with someone who knows who you are. So by doing that, you will discover who you are. You will remember, I should say, who you are. So that is the whole purpose of the Guru-Disciple relationship. So that is my understanding as per uh, yesterday's satsang. So uh, that's going to be it for this episode. So remember, if you like this content, subscribe, like, leave a comment below. Non-abusive, thank you. And, um, and then, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Nityandam. I welcome you all with my love and respect. Let you all open all your three eyes. Oh, Nitya.